Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Genshin Impact. Wir müssen weitermachen mit Xinjiangs, Xinjiangs Musikzeug. Das war die Erklärung, den Rest müsst ihr euch selber anschauen. Stimmt, wir müssen jetzt dieses singende Wasser irgendwas Dings da. Genau. Oh, wie ich halt direkt daneben gelandet bin. Ich wollte eigentlich... Bei... Egal. Schau, muss raus. Sie muss rein. Ja, ja, bla, 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 bla. Auf geht's. Äh, machen wir mal kurz so. Ich denke mir immer die ganze Zeit, scheiße, die Schinobo braucht so, viel, so lange zum Heilen, ey, was, warum dauert der das so lange immer, ey, das ist halt so wenig. Und dann fällt mir auf, halt, warte, fucking Shinobu hat halt auch drei, doppelt so viel Energie wie der Rest, ne. Okay, nicht ganz, aber zum Teil. Zum Teil. This is the glacial spring water you were looking for. Äh, okay. Ja. Ich denke mir, das könnten sie dir noch gleich geben. Xinjiang gießt mit dem Quellwasser die Blume. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Thank you very much. Now, I'll send you to your destination. Wow! Äh? Hä? Betritt den Tempel der Musik. <lacht> Musik in die Äh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lose my hat. Hmm? This scent. I think we've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. But it's so dark here. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you? No, I got it. What was this? The reason the birds sing so sweetly. It's because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Xinyan, we're not singers in this family. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, so I just need to go drink some of this spring water, and then I'll be able to sing? Oh, I'll be right back, Mama. M Mama? <laughs> I'll be right back, Mama. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. You scared the bejesus out of me. Here, this is the spring water you were looking for. Really? Oh, you're the best, Daddy. <lacht> okay. Ich weiß nicht warum. Aber es wirkt schon hart irgendwie aus dem Ghetto oder so. Okay, Mama. <lacht> so Zeug, Alter. Oh yeah, thank you, Daddy. <lacht> Did she run off to this time? To find somewhere she could sing, no doubt. Ugh. She can't be persuaded, and we can't stop her from walking out the door. Did you really have to lie to her like that? How was I supposed to know she'd go running off looking for spring water? Oh. When is she gonna come to her senses? Du bist cool, erfahren wir mehr über die Xinjiang. Oh, dear mama. Get oh. down from there. You can't set up a stage here. If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut, not putting on a public performance. Ugh. Don't tear down the stage. Oh, what's that? Shen Yan, my dear child, why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. Oh, Shen Yan, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. You have to play, play something classy. Why are they being so mean? Oh, the 
these people. <sighs> uh, that's it! Why are you not yelling back? What happened to your rock and roll spirit? <laughs> <laughs> and now you're laughing? Aren't you mad? Sometimes it's hard to get mad when you hear the same thing a hundred times. <laughs> Still, thanks, Paimon. Uh, what? Auntie Jishong, how are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking soup, right? Oh, so you see, it's all burnt. Oh, how did this happen? Oh, my. Uncle Jew, little Jew is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Uncle High. I'll move my stage someplace else. But your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Maybe you didn't know, but even the most famous opera singer in Leeway likes listening to my boorish music. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, are you? <laughs> I'll have to look into this. Oh, they're all gone. See? Knowing the right words to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. <laughs> if that's the case, then what's your rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Rock and roll is a revolution. Transforming your identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. And most importantly, it lets you do it with art rather than words. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out, or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go that way. There's a side path right there. <laughs> Alter, ich mag sie noch mehr. Mindset you have. If anyone ever called me anything less than a genius, I'd be furious. Really? I'm not as tempted to give it a shot. <laughs> Bona is glaring at me. <laughs> Palmon, there's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and playing with fire. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest in rock and roll. Seriously? Well, this better not be a joke. No, I'm serious. Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a strong will in people is an incredible thing. Okay, man kann oben drüber schießen, aber hier ist eine Barriere, ne? Hä? Okay. Also das sind auf jeden Fall unterschiedliche lange Wände da. Hey, is that another door? More delightful individuals await us on the other side, I assume. Let me handle it. Piece of cake. Ich glaube nicht. Nach und nach wird es wahrscheinlich doch ihr näher kommen. Miss, your hairstyle is really strange. Oh, is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head and you wear spiky things in it. Nobody else has hair like that. You're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. Really? But if I wore 
a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, hey, little Faye likes stupid little puppies. Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah, they do too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Ah, plus, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? Well, this hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? Do they not like it, too? Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. <laughs> no. Stay right here, I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. Oh, okay. Thanks, miss. I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. See, now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. Okay. Ich mag sie. Ich mag sie. Also die ganze Einstellung ist echt super. Kleiner Ming. Excuse me, are you little Mung? Little Fei is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? <laughs> he could have just come here and found us. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll go find him instead. He ran off. We should catch up to him. Huh? Wo sind andere hin? Schweinerei, da sieht man nicht gesehen, ob da Wasser ist oder nicht. Kleine Lulu. Uh, excuse me, are you little Lulu? Are you looking for me, Miss? Didn't you promise to meet little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? Oh, that silly dum dum. Why didn't he just come to look for us? We prepared a surprise gift for him. A surprise gift? How strange. This is open. What's all this? All this? You dum dum. We were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us. And definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Oh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> and all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. 
If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you too? Very clever. <laughs> no, well, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone, Paimon's hungry. <laughs> Diskussion, Diskussion. Paimon hat Hunger. Okay, dieser Lärm. It's almost lunchtime. So how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep, I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. Oh, ist er schon fertig eigentlich, ne? Ich frage mich, ob die vergessen haben, da was zu ändern oder ob das einfach so sein soll. Ja, äh, fuck. Ah, da ist hier wieder eine Mauer. Ich weiß nicht, warum ich es gerade damit so habe, weil so schauen, wie weit die Mauern hochgehen oder so. Ich bin mal gespannt, wie zu Hause ist. Here we are. Please come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. Huh? Did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. Oh, the lights aren't even on. And there's no one... Whoa! Dun da da Happy birthday! Huh? What are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> you, Jin, you were totally right. She does get spooked. It's your birthday, so we planned a surprise party for you. <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are. A custom-made dagger and a score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I have these gold hairpins and iron hair ties, custom made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. 
Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar. So I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. Hmm... That's certainly peculiar. No, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Scheiße, wen meinen die? Kenn ich denn schon? Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One. Two. Three. <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is 